Hello guys, this is Peter and you are looking AVA Media Channel. Unfortunately, I was stuck in Hamburg in the Ibis Hotel for this weekend, so I'm not able to make you a big great video, but we can do a chat. A chat about the question a lot of you have done, why is this channel called AVA Group? Well, there is a certain bet it was leading to this name. If you are interested, stay with me and listen, shall we? Well, to begin, um, it is a question how it came that we need a company name or uh, a name anyway. The story began in 2009 as I was an employee by a company in Hungary and uh, I had a couple of colleagues. To be exact, it was an IT guy. A photograph guy and a designer girl and all of them had the problem that they would have a lot of work beside um, the main job but all the clients want to have invoices and we should try to find a company who can make invoices for them um, I made a little bit reading and uh, it came out that in Hungary that time was about 70, 80 dollars in a month to, to have a company. So I decided that I make an LTD, a uh, limited, and I will be the one who make the contracts with the partners and win them and they get a salary, uh, they can have the invoices from me. Short after the decision I had a chat with this IT guy what should be the company name because he wants to be also a company owner but he didn't really have an idea what we should do and how the company should be named so I've got some books marketing books read them through and I came to the conclusion that um, a good company name begins with an A, is extremely short and is symmetric. Again, I talked with this IT guy what the possibilities are and he told this is impossible, you can forget it, you will never find a domain which is short, begins with A and is symmetric. Uh, the issue is that in my dictionary there is no word impossible that's why I went to the home page of the domain, uh, how do you call, well the group who is, who is um, responsible for all the Hungarian domains and they had a website with a list of domains they will end shortly and in this list I find AVA. So Alpha Victor Alpha. And uh, I speak with the ITler again. We have a domain. We need this. Well, ugh, it's impossible. You will never have this. Uh, it is November. T uh, the domain ends in January. They have two months to extend the subscription. Uh, it's a dead thing. Okay. I spoke again with this with this group of people. They are managing all the domains in Hungary. What are the possibilities? And they told if I pay about um, 30 bucks, uh, they have a robot. Um, and uh, this robot, this computer will send every 10 milliseconds a request to the servers that I will have this domain 
on the day it exp expires. Okay, it's 30 bucks, not a big money. But after a couple of weeks, I came to the ID, I called the old owner of the domain and asked him, I pay you a reason money if you give me your domain, if you don't need it anymore. He was very upset, angry, real aggressive and told me that uh, I should shame myself and uh, uh, what of an uh, asshole am I to asking him to give him his, his domain uh, away. He needs it and, and he will uh, go to the police because I called him. Um, okay, sorry. Um, I really thought the thing is over. I will never have this domain. But around the 5th of January, the email came. I have the domain. Fuck. Two days later came a phone call that uh, there is an issue. The issue is that the word AVA has a patent, uh, has, um, has a copyright on it. And I need a paper from the copyright holder that I may uh, buy this domain for my company. I just opened the internet, I saw there are multiple hundred companies who had a copyright on the word of AVA for, for some production methods, uh, chemistry, company name, etc. But I need a paper, no matter one of them. I found a, a fruit production company in the USA who had the copyright for this word AVA for a fruit, I guess, packaging procedure. I don't know. Um, but I wrote an email to them that, uh, very honestly, I am a little guy from Hungary. This is a very small uh, country in Europe in this small country in overseas and uh, would they mind to write a paper for me that I can register the domain for myself. A couple of hours later the guy sent an email, not to me, I was just in CC, to his lawyer and asked his lawyer to make this paper for me. I had to wait a couple of days but the paper was there. I gave it to the domain registry company and it was done. We have ABA.HU. Oh wow, fuck, we did it, eh? Um, in about one month later we were invoice ready. We just had the last step over to make a credit card payment thingy by the bank, but as soon as we were invoice ready, the, the photograph guy disappeared, the designer lady made our old logo and disappeared, the IT guy did nothing. I uh, had the idea to make uh, my sailing business, that's why it was called AV Group Hungary uh, LTD because I thought that uh, there will be a photographing company inside, a designer company inside, an IT company inside and my sailing part we will be a company group so to say. Um, I made uh, sailboat chartering, I made uh, sailing courses, I made uh, sailing trips to Adria in Croatia and everything was well but the ITLA did nothing and after a couple of months I made a question what's the matter? Uh, he told although he was a company owner as well as me he told because I am the CEO my job is to get projects for him. Good, no problem. In a couple of days we had five uh, website projects we had contracts, deadlines, uh, 
the first payment was done um, and after weeks nothing happened wow uh, I went to the guy that uh, the deadline is coming closer and closer what's the matter and he don't he has no time for for more work what he does in the, the main job okay well um, thanks God I'm I have some knowledge in uh, terms of IT, so I finished all the five uh, projects. These were easy websites, not, not a big deal. And the clients were happy, they paid everything correctly. And after that, the guy get a little bit push outside of the company because I didn't need him. And also you are maybe interested what happened with this company. Um, so it was 2010 the beginning and in 2003 I started my new job here in Germany. Uh, by that time I had a really good uh, IT guy Don Mortis who was and is a charm. He did all the jobs, we did make real money, no troubles Every deadline was uh, hold, um, and as I get the offer to come to Germany again, uh, I told him that we will close the company because I cannot make a Hungarian company and working full time in Germany. And uh, and he told that no, this is not the way we do it. Uh, we spend so many time and effort in the company that he will buy it from me and this was the the case um, after a couple of weeks we made all the paperwork and he bought the company from me and i came to germany so this is the story why the uh, youtube channel is called ava uh, group media if you like this episode hit the like button Subscribe for the channel and share this video with your friends so they get known about my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.